Hi guys, Iron Cameraman here. Have you ever wondered if the symbol on the Astro Woman's head is a very ancient and powerful sign? Yes, we've talked about this topic more than once, but after Dafuk Boom changed the episode and said that the second part of 76 episode became non-canon, I had to search for information on the new sign already. And finally, I found what I was looking for. Today we're going to talk about it. Or here's another thesis. Did you know that the Astro Woman is just one of the 12 strongest Astros we have yet to see in the series? But while that's interesting, besides that, I learned a very secret about Astro's energy, which they've learned to control and make it many times stronger to amplify its properties and inject it as a serum to their fighters. But wait, there's something else you need to know about. These are the new agents that were shown in episode 74, but no one noticed them. And that is very much for nothing, as they are the mysterious computer chair and the equally mysterious ficus that are still in the future, or very soon to reveal themselves. I'll also tell you what or who Dafuk was trying to say when he changed the banner in Discord, because in this inscription is hidden a secret message for new 77th episode, so I advise you to finish all your business and watch this video carefully. Today will be a lot of interesting and important, so put like and subscribe to always be aware of everything on the series Skibidi Toilet. Anyway, here we go. I wanted to start by remembering a Russian-speaking YouTuber, Fordell, who asked Dafuk quite some time ago, is there an episode in which we didn't notice something very important to the plot? To which he got the answer that yes, and more than one. This really surprised me at the time, and I made the decision that I had to find all the details that Dafuk had left out in the old episodes. Of course, unfortunately, I didn't have that much time to watch all the episodes very carefully, so I forgot about the idea and decided to shelve it for now. But recently, I decided to watch episode 76 again, and for good reason. In it, and later on in other episodes, I found very interesting details that were not mentioned on YouTube and in general in the community of the series. The most interesting thing I found was in episode 76. Remember that moment when the squad was attacked by the big Astro that killed our cab driver? Well, there are a few details you can notice before he's shot. The first one is the chair that stands to the left of this Astro toilet, which just recently helped our squad fight off the little Astros. By the way, after the Astro toilet hit the squad again, the chair is gone. It may have flown away to escape, or it may have been ordered by Dafuk to do so. I mean, the second detail in this shot is Secret Agent himself, standing on the rock and watching us again, right next to the Astro toilet, from which we can deduce that almost no one can notice Secret Agent. Not the Skibidi toilets, not the Astros, and not the agents. This brings up a lot of interesting thoughts but so far there is little or no evidence for any of the theories. But the fact that Dafuk Boom is standing so close to the Astro and no one notices him seems very strange. The next detail that many of you missed was not that long ago, namely in episode 74. We all remember this agent right here though, who was seen when TV Man was teleporting, how much noise he made, how many theories were built about him. Even I've talked about this character in many videos and given my theories. But did you know that wasn't the only time he appeared? Yes. Yes, the second time you teleport through the door you can spot the strange agent again, but no longer one, but two. I'm even surprised no one saw this detail. Two whole new and suspicious agents who have monitors on their heads and are in a kind of space where TV men move around. I mentioned in one of my shorts that the TV men's teleport is very similar to secret agent technology, so it's not surprising that we were able to spot these agents. They're most likely helping or using Dafuk's abilities, but it's strange that they are not seen by the TV men or we don't know something about them. But on the other hand, no one but us notices secret agent himself. Maybe the stealth technology is embedded in them. But you know, here I remembered that for a very long time we have been wondering who is the chair and the ficus. A lot of theories have been put forward about that, but here it's like it's becoming more obvious. We saw two characters that were invisible to the normal eye and were hiding. Also, these two subjects are also not directly shown to the agents either, but were just there, watching them and helping them from time to time. The behavior is similar enough that I have a hunch that these two objects are the characters from episode 74. Another part of this theory is the fact that Dafuk's Discord banner has changed, and it reads, We ain't here to hurt nobody 77.1. 
From this, we can conclude that these characters are going to be new, very important story characters who are going to help the Alliance in this difficult time. And judging by the number 77.1, they could very well appear in this episode, and most likely will. Why them? These characters have been teasers for us since episode 74, so the likelihood that it's them is very high. Plus, we've already seen them trying to help the agents in episode 76, and it's likely that in 77.1, they'll finally come out to help in the war. But of course, this theory doesn't compare to the other Astro Toilets speculation. The fact is that the previous altered picture of Discord, Boom, had one of the Astro Toilets in it. It makes sense that this phrase could refer to them, and perhaps in episode 77 we will be given an answer to what the real purpose of this race is, since they kill everyone so brutally. There was one more detail, but already from episode 73. I'm not too sure if it's what I think it is, but at this point you can see a strange, dark silhouette in the smoke. Maybe it's an animation bug, or Dafuk's characters prepared for the next scene. Because after watching all the previous episodes carefully, I've noticed them many times. But if there's really something there, post it in the comments. And I'll also ask you all to watch the old episodes again carefully, because unfortunately I was only enough for 72 episodes, so there are probably secrets in some other episode that we didn't see. And judging by the above, I've proven it. So pay attention, and if you find something, post it in the comments. Okay, now I wanted to bring up the Astro Woman symbol. In the full version of episode 76, there was a completely different symbol on the Duchess's forehead. If you look closely, you can see that it is a star with 12 limbs and a cross in the middle that is in the center. I searched for a long time what it could mean until I came across the star of Erzgama. It looked different at different times in different places, but the essence, the 12 limbs and the cross, always remained. Unfortunately, I couldn't find something similar, so I'll show you a basic version of this star. But you're probably wondering what it means, right? Well, it has many meanings. It is often used by people as a good luck charm, helping a person find their way in life. It also means harmony and expresses a person's direct involvement in cosmic knowledge, protects him with the power of cosmic fire and spiritual energy from hostile dark beginnings. But the most interesting thing, in my opinion, is that this sign symbolizes the Twelve Apostles, from which I have a theory that this sign in the series means approximately the same. That is, the cross in the middle is the leader of the Astro Toilets, and the limbs of the star are the Twelve Strongest Astros, and the Astro Woman is one of them. This proves her immense power. And let me remind you that this star also belongs to the cosmos, so this theory has a high probability of being true. After all, we know Dafuk never adds any details just for fun, and there is something very important hidden in this symbol. I also found a picture in which each limb of the star means something. If this guess is true, I dare say it's more likely that the Duchess is referring to pain, as the episode clearly showed how she loves to hurt others. I also wanted to say that some people confuse this sign with other stars, such as the Chaos Star, since they are similar in drawing style. But let me remind you, the essence of the Chaos Star is the eight limbs, and here there are twelve. And the most important thing is the cross in the middle, and the style in which this sign is depicted may be radically different from what we saw in the episode. First, Dafuk is unlikely to have just copied it. He would have definitely added something of his own. Second, I'll say it again, at different times and in different places, the drawings were different, but the basis and essence of the star was always the same. Now I wanted to talk to you about Astro Toilet's energy. Just recently I wondered why Astros have two colors of energy, orange and red, while other races have energy with only one primary color. I used to have theories about this, but they were shattered as the episodes came out. But in doing so, a new one was born. What if Astro Toilets have learned to control their energy, that is, are able to amplify it, make it weaker, or introduce it into their fighters as a serum? I'll try to explain it to you now. You can notice that the stronger and more powerful Astro Leets have red energy, and the rest, the weaker ones, have orange energy. Why is that? It seems to me that Astro Toilets have learned to control their energy to become more powerful. That's why the strong and outstanding soldiers are given red energy when everyone else is meant to have orange energy. By the way, we can assume that the yellow energy of Skibidi Toilets is the weakest version of it. 
First, we know that many of the Skibidi toilets at the beginning of the series were Astro, such as G-Man. And secondly, orange and yellow are very similar. I think you can see that for yourself. Regarding the serum I mentioned above, what was it that I was referring to? I think a lot of people have noticed that even small Astros are very durable and strong. Not that their armor is strong, but it's the body itself that is much stronger and more durable than the average Skibidi toilets. There's also the question of, why do all Astros have red eyes? All these questions led me to think that the fighters of their army are being given some sort of vaccine with energy. This makes them stronger, more durable, and most importantly, red eyes. And those on whom the serum worked very well get the ability to shoot lasers. It is very likely that such a powerful and intelligent race could come up with something like this to strengthen their fighters for long wars or conversely, to underpower traitors, as was the case with G-Man, for example. I think it's now worth talking about what's in store for us in Episode 77. As Da Fook said, there will be Titans waiting for us in Episode 77, and most likely one of them is TV Titan. He will, I think, be a key figure in the episode. Why? It's simpler than it seems. We know that G-Man will definitely be in Episode 77, as the number 7 is some sort of G-Man's number. We also know that Dafuk is very fond of dividing the seasons based on the main theme. That is, Season 22 is about the attack on the Alpha Hill's main base, Season 23 is about the death of the scientist, and Season 24 is about G-Man's escape and the containers. From this we conclude that most likely Season 25 will be about the Alliance and Skibidi toilets uniting. Since in Episode 75 we saw the first steps towards this, in Episode 76, open union of small groups, well, and 77 episode should be the one that will finish this line, the union of WCs and agents. And in this alliance, G-Man and TV-Man Titan will play a major role. It is after their agreement that the whole alliance will take the Skibidi toilets in. My team and I have even made a concept of what this could look like. Evaluate it if you don't mind, we look forward to your opinion on this concept. Well, like I said, the alliance will happen. But how? I think it's obvious here that G-Man will save Cameraman Titan and thus earn TV Titan's respect. In episode 76, we already realized in the Astro conversation that someone is trying to save Cameraman Titan and that someone is G-Man himself. So it's inevitable that the merger will happen. And at the end, I'd like to tell you the cool news. Our team was able to get an exclusive interview with the YouTuber Monster Up. Who doesn't know? This is the author of The Zombie Multiverse. I'll leave the link on the screen. Be sure to check it out. You'll love it. Bye.